This Let's Play is brought to you by the letter N for needs to not recycle intros from past Let's Plays. Good folks of Rare, they've done some okay games. Dolby Sound or something, whatever that means. That's right, my friends. You asked for it, and it's finally here. <laughs> I'm Dark Minded Sith, and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. I've done Banjo Kazooie, and ever since then, this game's been requested a lot for a dog's age now, and I'm finally doing it, my friends. It's the summer. Let's kick off a new project, shall we? There's Klungo with the giant rock right where we left off, eh? So without further ado, let our journey begin. Which wouldn't be much of a beginning without a main menu, of course. Got Banjo and Kazooie's wonderful faces, but they're separated. They go together. They can't. Nah, nah. That, that just... I'm seeing things. There's no sense fooling around the menu for 20 minutes, but I'll go ahead and add that we do have things like multiplayer and some settings that we didn't have in the, in the last game. So it's nice to know they're taking things a step forward. So I've cleared out a file here, file number three. Hello, Mumbo's face. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Really excited to start this one. I've been wanting to do this game for quite some time, but that other Zelda game that, with the mask and such took forever to finish that one, but... That's right, two years. Oh, well, technically, wasn't she kind of defeated by the Ginginator? <laughs> I'll give credit where it's due, you know? <laughs> That's right, she met the same fate as all the copies of Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> oh, and there's Klungo. With the rock, after two years, he's still... That's quite, a, that's quite an assistant she has. Boy, is he loyal. Two years have passed, and still he's trying to free her from there. You gotta move on, man. You gotta move on to bigger and better things. You're needed elsewhere, buddy. That lab assistant, I mean, there's no telling what he's capable of. He's got abilities that could be used elsewhere, man. You can't put all your focus there. Just doesn't get you anywhere, buddy. There they are, my friends. Our beloved heroes and their sidekicks. Two years have passed and it doesn't look like they've changed a bit, except Mumbo. He doesn't really look the same. What better way to see what our heroes are up to nowadays than a game of cards? And, <laughs> well, it's clear Kazooie hasn't changed a bit, eh? Two years, it can do a lot for you, but... <laughs> She's perfect the way she is, isn't she? Looks like our heroes are perhaps a little... Well, of course they're a little older. Maybe a little wiser. Maybe even a little chubbier. <laughs> Can't quite see, but... I don't know. Banjo's always had a weakness for that honey. Well, two years have gone by. Grunny's still under the rock. Our heroes and friends seem to be doing okay. Life is good. It's green and stormy outside, but... A little rain never hurt anybody. A little green overcast. Perhaps it, you know, there's some old folk tales about that being good luck, I've heard. Life is good. Things can't possibly ruin or tarnish our good mood. Or get in the way of... Well, there's that. Um, scary music. Well, it could just be visitors. You know, old, old family of, of banjos. Eh, don't worry, Bottles. Look at his nose. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, might just be a volcanic eruption. They do live next to a mountain, right? Although, I, I still maintain it's not much of a mountain, but we'll just call it that. Uh, one of us? Well, you go, Banjo. You're the hero, buddy. I don't know, man. I think two years is still not enough of a vacation after all of our mishaps in the last game. Looks like a giant drill coming through. Could be some old relatives of Banjo. They might just be psychotic relatives, but I don't know. A little, a little craziness never hurt anybody much. We don't really know much about Banjo's relatives other than Tootie. I still don't really know much about how old Banjo is exactly. He lives on his own, so I would guess maybe early 20s, mid 20s maybe? Well, that's 
I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That's gotta be a bad guy. That kind of entrance. I know the whole don't judge a book thing, but ooh, it's a anorexic grunty. Hmm. Might be her sister to my chance, but oh heavens! Ooh, belly flop. The big girl always has to do the belly flop. Just a, belly flop just doesn't quite work as well if you're slim and only weigh like 90 pounds. And she talks like Yoda. That's fascinating. Well, I mean, you had Brentilda the witch, and she was the good witch. She helped us out. We wouldn't have gone through that, we wouldn't have completed that quiz without her, so... Maybe they're here to try to bring the good side out of Grunty by chance. A little redemption by chance. Yeah, we're gonna act cowardly. I mean, they haven't really done much in the past two years, most likely. Everything's been at peace. They're not used to this, so... Alright, brave Mumbo. And he was never seen again. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't seen really we haven't really seen Mumbo in action, but Shaman with the capabilities of turning us into crocodiles and washing machines. You never know what he's capable of. The ones who kinda seem in the shadows and you don't really see their abilities, those tend to be the ones that are the most powerful. Yoda, for instance. Yeah, he was the most powerful Jedi in the universe, and he never really did anything except hang out in the swamp, so... Anyway. She's got a big cat there. I really feel sorry for that cat. There's no way he or she is happy with that blob of whatever. Quite the voices they have. So looks like they're gonna try to hoodwink here and put their spells together to see if they can get rid of the rock. They levitated it, so that's... Oh, shucks. Wait a minute, why do you just use the drill? Oh, god, panty shot. Ugh. Always the ones we don't want to see, eh, fellas? <laughs> Uh-oh. She's back. And still alive. What are you happy for, Clunkin? She always mistreated you. Gave you harsh hours, made you work on Christmas. Ah, uh, Grunny, we've... You're the villain. We can't deny we missed you. We missed your rhyming. We missed your voice. She's lost a few things. Eight bones. Well, I've got plenty of those. Two hundred or so. So you won't like it very much. Your sister there seems to have plenty. And she's probably big bones, so... I don't know if you guys will get along too much. Oh, and you're missing... Oh, God, I'm missing an eyeball. Oh, well, I'll just pop it right back in there. 2020 vision. However, that fraction works. 1820 vision, maybe? Uh oh, Mumbo doesn't even have ears. And I guess he can witness what's going on. Uh oh, he's been spotted. Get out of there, man. Run. Run like the wind. Oh no. Well, she did say she hates bones, so. Yeah, and he kind of helped us out to go against her, so time for her vengeance. This'll teach you to give me that lousy pumpkin transformation. Yeah, that was pretty cool. What am I saying? Pumpkin was like the best transformation in that game. <laughs> well, he's done for. Might as well get back to our cards, eh? And bird seed money. It's kind of an odd form of currency. She just never will... Sometimes, uh, you ever hear of knocking, buddy? I know you've been out for a little bit. Some courtesy, man. Well, a little warning. Maybe we can... No sense running. We beat her before, we can beat her again. Uh-oh. -uh. It's a dish best served, uh... Moderately warm. Can't remember how that saying goes. Uh-oh, ultimate power. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, there's always the we don't believe you part of the story. No one ever just... We've gotten to know Mumbo over the past two years or so, and we still don't always believe everything he says. That's just Kazooie for you. Oh, well, that must be a pretty slow spell. But slow and steady wins. And again, the skeptics. He's got a picture back there. Oh! Skeptics. Yeah, that's that's the punishment you get. Sometimes faith is horrible, but 
Skepticism is sometimes even more painful. <laughs> so, Grunny's been revived. She's bony and weak, but I don't know, a little bit of calcium and maybe some flesh will help her out. This is not good. We're just starting to really get complacent with our vacation here. And she sent out some new troops, pterodactyls and midget shreks. Some new enemies, well, it'd be a new game without new enemies. I miss Topper. This place was run by vegetable enemies. Yeah, I think they had a good heart deep down. They just wanted to be accepted, that's all. They're vegetables, no one, no one wants them. People want sugar and... No one likes carrots, they don't get the appreciation they deserve. Whatever happened to no Klungo gets left behind. Huh, wasn't that an act passed a couple years ago? Well, yeah, she's been living under a rock, so... Alright, we're in the Fungi Forest Lobby. No, not really. Music similar to that. Our poor house has been destroyed. Landlord's not gonna like that. Your head hurts, really? That's the... <laughs> yeah, that's the word. That's the... That's the biggest of our worries. Yeah, you gotta be optimistic. You know, we're all okay, but uh, wait, someone's missing. Wait, where's the fish? Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, Bottles. He's gone as well, isn't he? Oh, no, he's been barbecued. But, ugh, he's gonna need a long bath and maybe some new clothes. His eyes seem okay. Are those his... God, or his... I don't know, I never understand how that works in animation. There's always, like, the glasses combined with eyeballs sometimes. Oh, no. Shucks. Well, he's an angel, so at least there's that. At least he was well-behaved and... Got that right, Kazooie. <laughs> the best character in the original was... Clearly Trunker the Tree from Gobi's Valley. Ah, uh, here comes the music. That music that indicates that a new adventure is beginning. And this is when stuff's about to get real. Yeah. Ew, why would you... Did you really want your beak near her bottom? That's just gross. No telling where that's been. That's... It wouldn't be a sequel without the kind of... You ain't seen nothing yet kind of thing, eh? That's right, Baron Bird. You thought it was the end. You thought our time together was dust in the wind. Fat bird and chicken legs, you've seen nothing yet. This will surely be a journey you'll never forget. New worlds, new baddies, new traps, and new tricks. Like the one I used to do at parties just for kicks. So come along, Baron Bird, follow my trail. Try to defeat me this time, surely you'll fail. I may have lost a few bones and most of my flesh, but I still have plenty of tricks up my sleeve that are new and fresh. You don't even have a sleeve. Cross me and like Mole Boy, you'll end up as a ghost. And then I'll sit back and enjoy some nice tadpoles on toast. Here on your second journey, you'll certainly go kaplooey. Until then, enjoy your quest here on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie.